sometimes it's not just our wealth that prevents us from entering in with God. It's things like unforgiveness. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's a vice. Maybe it's a habitual sin. See, this week I had a really amazing encounter. Uh, a man wandered onto our campus. The Lord told him to come here. And he was in rough shape. And, you know, I, I want to be transparent with you. Even as a pastor there, sometimes I walk up on people and I don't know how it's going to go. Because I'm, I'm coming wanting to pray for them, but I don't know what's in their heart. And so sometimes you walk up feeling kind of unprepared. So I just said, Lord, you lead this interaction. And so as I was sitting there with this man, he was just, he just said, look at me. And he was filthy from head to toe. Um, he had a, a wristband on because he had just been released from, from treatment. He had been in there for alcohol. And so as, as we began to talk, see, he, he was caught up on his appearance. He, he just kept saying, look at me, look at me. And as I was preparing this message, I knew why I had that interaction so I could share it with you. Because, again, like the rich man, he was focused on his temporal things, on, on the things that he could see. This man was in the completely opposite space. He didn't have anything. He was dirty, but he was still focused on that. Like, if I get cleaned up, then maybe. And the Lord just put it on my heart to begin to talk to him about what it was that's going on in his life and... He had a name tattooed on his arm, and the Lord said, ask him about Angel. So I asked him about Angel, which was his daughter who passed away after two days. And that was what started him on his road of drinking. And so we began to talk, and we continued to talk, and we ministered. And I just had to let him know, look, man... Because I asked him, I said, do you know Jesus? And he said, I, I, I knew Jesus a long time ago. See, he had walked away. He recognized where he was at and that he needed something else. But see, he didn't just need clean clothes. He needed something to challenge his mindset and where he's at. And guys, when God tells you to, to tell somebody that their problem is alcohol... When they're in the middle of their problem, it's really hard to do. And when, you get, when you're telling somebody that, hey, man, your problem is not that it's hot and you're dirty. Your problem is that you're drinking too much and you're drinking yourself to death. When you, when you hit people in the face with the truth of their situation, it's hard. So that's why we have to ask, how do I take action? Because honestly, I don't want to have to be the one to tell you what it is. Let lo the Lord do that between you and him in your quiet time. 